Whoop, motherfucking whoop, fam. You know, we in the Halloween spirit over here. Yada da. I had to. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Got us a little, uh, <laughs> yeah, that shit Manny, right? So check it out. I listened to that behind the paint USB. I gotta say, Jay is a good ass dude. Hey, y'all know I got this box set. Violent J got a message I want y'all to hear. That he wrote in this book. So here go, message from Violent J. Says, <clears throat> I wish I had the words to express our love for juggalos. We come from nothing. We have no education. Without you, we couldn't feed our children. Our thanks and appreciation runs deep. Very, very deep. We try our hardest with every album we put out, especially the Joker's cards. And then when it comes out, we listen again, and suddenly it doesn't sound good enough. The longer our career goes, the more we love and respect the juggalos that continue to be down. In the beginning, when we first made it nationally, and we were on the charts for all those weeks, some people may have been buying our shit just because everybody else and their crew was or something like that. But today, we're considered old school. The people who buy our shit today, there is no question they have true love for us. Nobody today is buying ICP just to fit in. I think about all this, all of this every day. I think about how back in the 90s, before YouTube and all that, and before I wrote my first book, we were way more of a mystery to everybody. Nobody had really seen our videos, and they really knew very little about us. That made our music much cooler and mysterious. Ninjas everywhere wondered, are they really like that? Just like when you meet somebody on the internet and you have never seen this person, you tend to automatically fill in the blanks and imagine them to be everything you want them to be. That's what people did with ICP. They imagined us to be this and that and everything they wanted us to be behind the paint. We were a big mystery, and that made us so much more exciting. 
I remember when nobody had even seen our faces and we traveled to and from the venues in masks. Today, everyone, today everybody seems to know everything about us. My book revealed it all and the internet filled in the rest. And the mystery is over. It's almost like I can't even tell stories that ninjas haven't heard before. And so it amazes the fuck out of me that so many people still love ICP. It's the juggalos of today that I love more than I can even put into words. I get nervous around them. I always think that myself, Joe Bruce, is not as cool as Violent J, the character, and I don't want to let anybody down. It just overwhelms me that so many juggalos continue to follow our music. I can't thank them enough. All we can do is try to satisfy them with our music and make it as good as they want it to be. That itself is a huge challenge because nobody wants the same thing. Some people love the old stuff. Me. <laughs> some people love the old stuff and some love the new. Some love the funny and some love the scary. Some people want us to keep telling our story and keep trying new things. Others want more of the old stuff repeated. It can be very stressful. It's definitely work. I don't give a shit what anybody says. It's not loading boxes kind of work, but it's definitely taxing on your brain. It's thinking as hard as you can. People who load boxes for 20 years fuck up their backs. Well, it's the same for people like us who stress for years and years. We fuck up our heads. I wouldn't change careers for the world, though. None of it. Not for one second. We love you juggalos each and every second of every day. If you met us and we weren't cool to you, it could have been a million different reasons why. But we fucking love you. We will always love you. Even the ninjas who have moved on from us. We love you for being down with the clown, even if it was only for one summer. We're grateful and thankful that we could be there for you that summer. We're thankful and grateful to have played that small, to have played that small or any size role in your life. Thank you, ninjas. We will always be here for you. We will never stop rapping as long as anybody out there who wants to hear us. We will do everything in our power to always have a gathering every year. Even if we have to have it in my backyard, it's going down. Thank you for being here today, reading this right now. New shit coming soon. That's something you can always count on. And it's going to be us at our best for you. Signed, Violent J. You know, that's some real shit, man. I believe every fucking word. Why? Talking about he gets nervous around juggalos. Why do I believe behind the paint so much? Because if we put in some like. Like. That fool admitted some shit that if it happened to me, I would never tell a fucking soul, much less the world. You know what I'm saying? Shitting in his drawers and, and the whole school finding out. All this crazy shit. You know, you don't just you don't just reveal your whole fucking heart and soul. Yada da. And then the rest of your shit be fake. I don't see it.
some motherfuckers don't know is these fools used to have long ass dreads. Back in the 90s. Got to start over. So, uh, yeah, to the wicked motherfucking clowns for life. Have a happy Halloween. Everything's all good. Whoop, whoop. What's costing them out?